Brian, Karen, the study used magnetic imaging to explore the rock formations below the Earth's surface. You could almost say it's a CAT scan on steroids and being hauled around by an airplane. The apparent faults extend from what appeared to be the end of mapped faults directly to areas where recent quakes happened. The Oklahoma Geological Survey tells the Associated Press there is a grain similar to wood grain to the deep rocks and it is aligned in a way for the stresses to generate a slip resulting in an earthquake. In the red zone, what we call the hot earthquake area, there's about 16 counties. That would be from Prague, Oklahoma to Pawnee, Cushing and then uh, <clears throat> west. Oklahoma averaged just one magnitude three earthquake a year before 2009. That number jumped to 903 in 2015 before declining to 304 last year. Oklahoma has experienced about 80 such earthquakes so far in 2018. Good news is we have this really good tool to help identify which areas should be more or less mapped as red zone areas. The faults may have been activated by wastewater injection, a process oil and natural gas producers use to dispose of wastewater that has been linked to many Oklahoma earthquakes in recent years. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission has directed several producers in the state to close some injection wells and reduce volumes in others. The cost of completely getting, uh, near completely getting the earthquakes to stop would be about 5% of the daily production in the state of Oklahoma. Taft Price, two works for you.